Hello. This video is going to be on the Alex topic, using a Venn diagram to understand the addition rule of probability. All right, so this Venn diagram shows the 11 students in Ms. Henderson's class. So here you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The diagram shows the members, the memberships for the math club and the soccer club. Note that David and Don are outside the circle since they are not members of either club. So one student from the class is randomly selected. Let A denote the student is in the math club. So that means that they're in this circle. Let B denote that the event that the student is in the soccer club. So that'll be B in this circle. We're going to find the probabilities of A, B, A and B, A or B, and then we're going to discover the rule for how you actually calculate the probability of A or B. So uh, the probability of A means the probability they're in the math club, which means that they're in this circle right here, right? So how many students are in the math club? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of 11, the total students. So the probability of A is seven elevenths. What's the probability that they are in the soccer club? The probability of B. Well, there's three in the middle and two on the side. So one, two, three, four, five elevenths. There's a five out of 11 chance that if you randomly select a student, they will be in the soccer club. What's the probability of A and B? Well, you can think of the probability of A and B as the overlap or the intersection. So the probability of A and B is the center region of the Venn diagram. One, two, three. Three out of the 11 students are in both A and B, the soccer club and the math club. What's the probability of A or B? Meaning that if you picked someone, they would either be in the math or soccer club. Well, think of that as the entire thing, right? If they're in A or they're in B, any of these spots in either circle would work. So there's all of them except for these two. That would be nine elevenths. That's the probability of A or B. Now, Let's look at this. We want to figure out what the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So probability of A is 7 elevenths. Probability of B is 5 elevenths. So we're adding those. And then we're subtracting the probability of A and B, which is 3 elevenths. And what does that give us? Well, that gives us 12 minus 3, which is 9 elevenths. And what do you notice? We had 9 elevenths when we discovered the probability of A or B, right? So A or B is the same as adding the probabilities and subtracting the intersection. So in this question B, select the probability that is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. Well, that's the same as P of A or B. 